Hi everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look real quickly at how to read a T distribution table. Remember when sigma, population standard deviation, is unknown, then we will substitute S, the sample standard deviation, in its place. And when we do that, then we know that we must apply a T distribution. And the T distribution is a family of curves with each value of n having its own curve and it's based on n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So let's look first at a 95% confidence interval. That 95% confidence interval, we know we have a value of alpha equal to 0 0.05 and we know that because alpha plus confidence level equals 1. But I'm looking for a confidence interval which means I'm looking for top and bottom. So I have to take my alpha and divide it by 2. So now I have 0.025 in each side of my curve. I have an n of 20, but the t distribution is based on n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So my degrees of freedom in this case is going to be 19. So what I'm really going to look up in my table is t of 0.025 at 19 degrees of freedom. So here I am with my T distribution chart. Remember the T distribution chart just gives me the area in one tail of the curve. So we said we had a 95% confidence interval that put 0 0.025 in each tail and N minus 1 degrees of freedom for this question was 19. So I'm simply going to look at, look at the area or look at the location where those two intersect. And now I know my value of T alpha divided by 2 is 2.093. Right, we'll, we'll look at it one more time. 90% confidence interval with a sample size N of 30. So that 90% confidence interval is going to give me an alpha equal to 0.10, but I'm doing a two-sided interval. So I'm going to take my alpha, divide it by 2. That's going to give me 0 0.05. And we know that we're based on n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So that's going to give me degrees of freedom equal to 29. So what I'm going to look for in my t distribution table is my t of 0 0.05 with 29 degrees of freedom. So in this second case, I had an area in the tail of my curve, curve of 0.05. I had 29 degrees of freedom. So I'm going to come all the way down and find out where that column and that row intersect. And my value for T alpha divided by 2 is now 1.699. I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.